I like to read books. I like to go around to the school and read to the different classes. So we're going to continue that even as we are socially distant. I thought I'd start with my daughter's favorite, and one of mine too, Pigs by Robert Munch. Megan's father asked her to feed the pigs on her way to school. He said, Megan, please feed the pigs, but don't open the gate. Pigs are smarter than you think. Don't open the gate. Right, said Megan. I will not open the gate. Not me, no sir. No, 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 no. So Megan went to the pig pen. She looked at the pigs. The pigs looked at Megan. Megan said, These are the dumbest looking animals I have ever seen. Why, they stand there like lumps on a bump. They wouldn't do anything if I did open the gate. So Megan opened the gate just a little bit. The pigs stood there and looked at Megan. They didn't do anything. Megan said, These are the dumbest looking things I've ever seen. They stand there like lumps on a bump. They wouldn't even go out of the door if the house was on fire. So Megan opened the gate a little more. The pig stood there and looked at Megan. They didn't do anything. Then Megan yelled, Hey, you dumb pigs! The pigs jumped up and they ran right over Megan. Whap, 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 whap. And out the gate. When Megan got up, she couldn't see the pigs. She said, uh-oh, I'm in bad trouble. Maybe pigs aren't so dumb after all. Then she went to tell her father the bad news. When she got to the house, Megan heard a sound coming from the kitchen. It went, oink, 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 oink. That doesn't sound like my mother. That doesn't sound like my father. That sounds like pigs! She looked into the window. There was her father sitting at the breakfast table. A pig was drinking his coffee. A pig was eating his newspaper. And a pig was peeing in his shoe. Ew! Megan, yelled her father. You open the gate. Get these pigs out of here. Megan opened the door a little bit. The pig stood there and looked at Megan. Finally, Megan opened the front door all the way and yelled, Hey, you dumb pigs! The pigs jumped up and ran over Megan. Whap, 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 and out the door. Megan ran outside, chasing all the pigs into the pig pen. She shut the gate. Then she stood there and looked at the pigs and said, You are still dumb, like lumps on a bump. Then she ran off to school. Just as she was about to open the front door, she heard a noise. Oink, 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 oink. Oink, 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 oink. Oink, 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 oink. She said, That doesn't sound like my teacher. That doesn't sound like the principal. That sounds like pigs! Megan looked at the principal's window. <gasps> there was a pig drinking the principal's coffee. A pig was eating the principal's newspaper. And a pig was peeing in the principal's shoe. Ew! The principal yelled, Megan, get these pigs out of here! Stay tuned for part two.